Hi Aries, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for so supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. Okay. Hmm. So Aries, your overall energy for this reading is the Hermit. You have the Eight of Swords. And then you have the Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Ugh. I'm getting your overthinking someone's return. Alright? Either your return, you're wanting to return to someone, or someone wanting to return to you. Someone from your past. Of course, Mercury it excuse me. Mercury is in retrograde, and um, a lot of signs are affected. There are signs that are not affected, depending on uh, your house, but more so, there are a few signs affected during Mercury retrograde, like highly affected. All right, underneath your deck, I don't usually do this, but underneath your deck is the Judgment card. So yeah, a card of second chances. Someone definitely coming back towards you. Okay, let's see. This is your overall energy for the for this reading. The Hermit card, Aries. Uh, you could have a Virgo placement or you could be dealing with a Virgo. But you've shut yourself out completely. Um, I, you've, you didn't give up on love. There, that's not the energy here. But more so, you're trying to find who is, what is the kind of person that's best for you, best suited for you. Um, you're trying to find yourself. All right? I'm getting the last few relationships that you have in, you have been in, you felt like you were lost at some point like it was going nowhere or you wanted this and then you wanted that so you went through certain a number of relationships where it was fun at first you thought this was what you wanted but then um you get a realization that this wasn't what you wanted sort of like that i'm i'm hoping you understand what i'm trying to say but yeah you've tried to understand you shut yourself out completely. You've, you're trying to understand what do you really want in a relationship. You're trying to find that clarity, that inner wisdom. You're going through that um, dark night of the soul to really understand the very core of you and what do you want in a relationship. Alright? So that is your main energy. You have the Eight of Swords to the the two of pentacles yes again a lot of overthinking um you're very much in your head um what i'm getting is you have the freedom to really choose who you want to choose but then again you're very much in your head you're overthinking a lot how will this work um you're weighing your options. Who should you be with? What kind of person should you be with? I'm getting you do have options. You have at least uh, two or three options on the table. It's not like um, it's a, a can of soda or anything. But I'm getting that you're very attractive, Aries. You're very attractive. So... You have a lot of choices when it comes to the people you want to be with, want to date, and want to be in a relationship with. But you're too much in your head um, whether or not who you want to be serious with. That's, that's the overthinking part of you. Who should you be serious with? 
all right so you have the six of cups to the page of cups uh someone coming from coming back from your past a lot of nostalgia coming uh coming through of course mercury is in retrograde so we do have a lot of memories popping back a lot of excess popping back up in our lives also you could be doing the same you could be rushing back towards an ex just because you remember some sort of good memory that you've had but in my opinion and this is my opinion alone there's a reason why these people are exes because it never worked out all right it never worked out so yeah someone could be pop popping back in very much a surprise for you but again mercury is in retrograde more so this is someone who will apologize to you will be sorry that they uh, will be saying how sorry they are for hurting you maybe you too you could be so you could be saying sorry of how can i say this i'm sorry let me repeat that you could be also the one to be approaching this person telling them how sorry you are um definitely there was a lot of love there was a lot of love um in this relationship but Spirit just keeps telling me that people change. People change every day. All right? So even if you have really good memories with this person, you or this person have changed a lot over time. Even in a day, you can change. All right? So... Um, even if you try to bring back old memories with this person, even if you want to try to come back to this person or this person wants to come back to you, you have changed over time, all right? Your, choice, your, your wants and choices then would not be as the same as what you want now, right? You have the Seven of Cups to the Seven of Wands. You could be seeing a lot of Sevens lately, all right? But more so, or number eight, because eight and six, all right? Anyway, you could be say, seeing a, a lot of sevens a lot, but you're no longer confused. Um, you know that you are the best of the best when it comes to... Um, some options out there. You are the best of the best, but more so... I'm getting that I'm picking up on the energy where you know that you don't have to fight for a position in someone's life. All right? If someone wants you there, they will let you stay. They don't have to make you feel that you have to fight for a position. And you know this. And you know this very well. You don't have to fight for a position in someone else's life, someone's life, all right? If they want you, they'll make you stay. If they want you, they'll make you feel that you're wanted, all right? That is the message there. What is the overall outcome of this reading? The overall outcome of this reading, Aries, is the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Six of Pentacles. All right. Okay. So, there's a lot of things that are hidden that are going to come out in the open. Maybe this is how you feel or the, the person that you're dealing with. Maybe this is, these are things that were hidden in the past because there is a lot of past energy coming back, all right? Um, 
things are going to come out in the open. Maybe it's about wanting a long-term stable relationship, all right? And balance in your life and that person's life. I'm getting you are going to, how can I say it? Lay your cards on the table. Both of you should be very honest with what you want and how you want your life balanced, how you see balance in your life. That is the overall outcome of this reading. What Spirit is telling me right now is just lay it on the table. If they don't want what you want, then it just means that you're not on the same page. It just means that it's not meant to be right now all right because what is meant for you will never pass you by aries we all know that we don't need to make things work it will just work all right what is the advice for you the advice for you aries is the five of wands the king of swords and then the six of swords all right moving on move on um yeah i'm picking up on the energy where there's just a lot of nostalgia between the two of you but people have changed. You always change. And what you wanted yesterday might not be the case today. You have the, the King of Swords, all right? The King of Swords here is about planning, strategy, seeing things through, cutting things out, cutting people out, the ones that no longer serve you, all right? And then you have the Five of Wands, all right? Don't let anyone make you feel that you have to compete in their life and don't let anyone make them f don't let anyone make them feel how can i say that and vice versa don't let them feel that they have to compete in your life as well to have a spot in your life as well don't let people do that all right miracles miracles are coming towards you a lot of miracles there are two rainbows like yeah that is a miracle two rainbows you could be seeing a lot of rainbows all right two all right you have number one it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and then you have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So yeah, it could be your Seven of Cups or your Two of Pentacles. You're trying to weigh up your choices. That is all I have for you, Aries. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.